Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Black Accountant. If you already, if you haven't already done so, I can't even talk right now. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment of different types of content that you'd like to see going forward. So today, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about mm, uh, success in college, especially as it pertains to the black individual. So I remember in my intro video, I was talking a little bit about the overall well-being of the black person, the black spirit, the black community. And I feel like that extends beyond just financial advice or tax advice or anything along those lines. So I kind of want to give a little bit of commentary on why I think a lot of black students tend to struggle in college or kind of drop out of STEM majors and not really succeed. And um, I think that's kind of relevant to start a little bit of a conversation in that regard. So honestly, that this topic kind of hits a little close to home just because I've had friends, family that really struggled in college. And I also similarly had that same kind of experience where when it comes to STEM majors or more difficult and challenging majors, you see a lot of black people in the beginning when in your first freshman year sophomore year but as you kind of progress into more and more difficult classes or curriculums you find a really significant drop in numbers and i think this kind of attributed to a couple of things so number one i would say is a little bit of a lack of support and what i mean by that is lack of support from staff faculty or professors overall who kind of tend to create their classes and are usually pretty proud of their classes being difficult, but don't provide as much one-on-one -on -one support um, with students, especially students that are struggling, and then just kind of route them towards tutoring. And um, while that is kind of valid to its own degree, it's also kind of partly one of the reasons um, students struggle because when the professor doesn't necessarily accommodate or incorporate collaborations with students and like leaves it up to um, the class themselves to kind of decide who their group mates are, for example, on a project, um, instead of just assigning people to different people, you're not necessarily encouraging collaboration, you're just encouraging the whatever clicks already exist. And not necessarily opening up people's views in terms of okay, let me assign you to some people that you normally wouldn't work with, that'll be a little bit more get you a little bit more comfortable. So that's one aspect of support. Also, in terms of family support, a lot of black families or black people going through college um, typically have a lot going on at home. So it could be something along the lines of um, like difficulty getting the transportation to get to college, difficulty um, purchasing the required materials, um, difficulty getting even support from your parents or family because you might be the outlier and the only one going ahead and trying to make yourself better because you might come from a very difficult background. And um, even just kind of going through the motions and even what say you kind of got past some of those struggles. Now you're in a situation where you're in a college, especially in STEM majors that are predominantly um, white, or predominantly other types of ethnicities that are typically stereotyped to go into those roles, uh, you find it more and more challenging to integrate yourself into those communities because you either have to downplay your blackness to a degree, or you need to be a little bit more agreeable. So you can't show yourself frowning. You need to be smiling all the time to make people feel like you're less of a threat, quote unquote. And that in itself becomes really exhausting after a while because you're creating this second persona that's not necessarily you all the time. And you have to maintain that while kind of um, going through your everyday life. And this kind of translates itself into the classroom as well, where a lot of black students don't feel comfortable asking questions because you don't want to look dumb because as a minority, you're kind of placed in this role by others where you're the view of the black whole black community because you're kind of tended to represent everybody. And what I mean by that is any kind of mistake that you make is attributed to the black community, but any kind of success or smartness or like intelligence that you kind of show, it becomes attributed to 
your surroundings or the plaque, like the other people in your class or like the, the greatness of the professor or something along those lines. So that in itself is kind of a problem because you're held to a higher standard where you have to always not only do well in your classes because you represent the community, but you always have to maintain a facade of something that you aren't. And you'd also don't find as much mentorship and mentorship is such a big thing in STEM majors where if you don't have somebody to guide you into what classes you need to take, what organizations you should be involved with, what kind of internships you, th- you should take and like how to kind of land a job, how to tailor your resume, then these become really big factors that disallow success. So this is kind of a conversation that needs to be had with many people. So just go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are on the subject. Leave a, leave a like, leave a comment, and let's get the discussion started in the comment section.